<laughs> Next. Um, yeah, hi, good evening. Um, this is my little personal journey, like a kind of an evolution, if you like, of where I went to uh, being a primary school English teacher to becoming um, an English teacher who's also teaching ICT. Um, and it's called From Word to Google Docs, and it also incorporates a little visit to ThingLink and Edmodo, um, <coughs> things I've started using very recently. Um, Brief history, as I say, I was a, a primary school teacher of English and uh, became teacher of ICT and naturally became charged with um, shoehorning ICT in teaching English um, here at Monkseat Middle School. This is my school incident in case uh, you don't know. Um, what, what to do to teach English and use ICT effectively? Well, I went on a, a training day with um, Anne Vernon and a guy called Andy Bell who used to work at Seat and burn, maybe still does, I don't know. Um, and this is what we were shown, and it just looked hideous. It was called a text matrix. And the idea was that this was a Word document. And uh, the kids, I would teach them how to do hyperlinks and stuff like that. And each one of these would be a link to something related to the text. So typically, we would uh, populate it with things that they'd written. So, you know, if we were doing Frankenstein, this would be an article about cloning or an article about the author or. Uh, other popular myths about uh, monsters in, in literature. And some of these would be um, links to work that they, the children had done, you know, letters from characters, diaries, all the usual kind of activities related to text. Um, hideous though that was, the kids did some really, really nice imaginative stuff with it and their Word documents became pictures and their text boxes became uh, far more kind of transparent and themed and stuff like that. And the range of stuff that they were prepared to put into these documents became such that I thought there is some value in actually using this kind of homepage idea for their work. So as I say, this I mean this example is from four or five years ago and the, the girl wouldn't want me to draw attention to a mistake but I did think that a Van Helsing anti-vampire kite was quite a nice idea and I wondered what that might look like. But um, this was, was had its day because Word was just problematic. Um, if they moved their work from one folder to another, if I wanted to take their work somewhere else, like home to market, or um, none of these links would work. Um, they also kept generating multiple copies of work as well, which became a problem. So um, I discovered by accident uh, just a recommendation on a, a feed that I was reading on uh, an app website, uh, a thing called ThingLink, which is basically just a way to keep pictures online but over the top of them, put links and things on. So I had a little um, go of it. Hopefully the link's going to work. Um, and this is a picture that I took and just thought I'll have a try. So it's got my two little ones here looking at a cow at Dunster Castle. But over the top, um, you can put links into anything you want. And so, no. and so um, what became obvious then was how to use it in school, which I thought we could start off a whole little community of doing this in school. So with my English classes, a little bit experimentally, I got them all to log in and oh, yes, it took a little bit of time to set up, but we all set up ThingLink accounts uh, and they all used their NTLP email addresses. And uh, they started work and I started trying to replicate what I've done before because I, I could see quite a lot of value in it. So when we were doing um, the Boy in the Striped Pajamas just last term, <coughs> Um, the kids all chose images, and over the top, they put in their own links to various different web-based articles, and their own work, which suddenly had to be web-based, which is what led me to using Google Docs instead of using Word. Um, there is a limitation, you can't make it look as pretty with Google Docs, but in terms of the practicalities that you can get, um, it's fantastic. So, okay, their character letters and things like that now became uh, available for me to read. Yes, there are issues, um, as Kat was saying earlier on, about privacy and settings and things like that, as long as you're careful with that kind of thing. Um, so I was able to go and, uh, and look at their work, sort of, you know, from my phone, from my tablet, from my laptop at home. I could sit and, and look at their work. Um, and so I got them all to bring this all to one point. 
And the one point I thought was, well, I'll set up a Google Doc. Um, and they would all post, I've sort of narrowed the columns and saved their names, but these are the links to all the work that they did, and each one of those is in turn linked <coughs> to all their different research and different bits of writing that they've put together for that particular text. Sorry, this keeps... Right, just... um, and then that finally led me to this place here. I don't know how many people are already using this, but it's um, an <coughs> online site where it kind of mocks up um, well, Facebook, I suppose, is the best example. It looks like an old-fashioned version of Facebook. And if I go to it, uh, well, we'll need to log in, so just give me a second. I'll give you 68. Is that how long I've got? Yeah. Okay. You need a click in the box. Oh. Uh, is that keyboard? It's just this thing. So on there, I can keep keep a record of all their assignments. Um, they can keep a record of what they've done. Uh, for those of you who've never used Edmodo before as well, the one thing that really hooks me in, apart from being able to manage all their work and, and hand out assignments on it, was the fact that you can join communities. And obviously, there's a lot of people tweeting and a lot of people blogging, but there are online communities geared towards specific subjects as well. So um, I can go to my English community or my ICT community and there's just constant CPD, people asking for resources, people asking for ideas, and other people who are taking the time out to uh, share them. Right, that's me. Thank you very much. <laughs>